This short video will show you how to delete copies via the Copy Bucket interface in Sitka Evergreen. You can delete copy records by utilizing buckets. The advantage to this method is that you can keep a record of items deleted by not emptying or deleting the bucket. If you delete your library's last copy, the volume record will be deleted together with the copy. If this is also the last copy for the title, no other Sitka libraries have a copy, the bibliographic record will also be deleted. So in most cases, you only need to delete the copy record. Evergreen will delete the volume and bibliographic records automatically. To access the copy bucket interface, click on Cataloging and select Manage Copy Buckets. To add items to a bucket, select an existing bucket from the drop-down menu or create a new bucket in the bucket view. Scan item barcodes into the box in the Pending Copies pane. Select Add All or Add Selected to move pending items to the selected bucket in the lower pane. You may also add copy records to a bucket when they are displayed on some other screens, such as holding, Holdings Maintenance, Item Status, Check-In, and Items Out in Patrons' Accounts. On any of these screens, you will find Add Items to Buckets in the Actions for Selected Rows or the Actions menu. Just look for Add Items to Buckets. And you can add to an existing bucket or add to a new bucket. And we're going to select our Delete Bucket and add to that. Once you've added all the items to your buckets, um, you can go back to the bucket interface, click on cataloging and manage copy buckets, and then load the bucket into the bucket view by selecting it from the drop-down menu. It is sick at best practice to review the status and owning library of items to be deleted. Click on the column picker to select owning library and status. Items with checked out status should not be deleted. Items with lost status cannot be checked in after the deletion. It's also important to verify that the owning library is your library, as missed scans can result in another library's items being present on your screen. It is also a good idea to review your barcodes to make sure that none of them are duplicates. Once you've verified all of the items are ready to be deleted, click on Delete All from Catalog. Confirm the deletion prompt. If the items being deleted are the sole copies on the marker, the volume and mark records will also be deleted automatically. You can refresh to see that deleted is now yes. Thank you for watching this video, and for more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.